Hey guys, today I wanted to chat with you a little bit about the interest rates. So regardless if they're holding steady or increasing or decreasing, that definitely should be something to consider in terms of, uh, in terms of investing. Um, a lot of, I think, people get really fixated on the interest rates, basically saying, oh no, interest rates are going to go up and then I am, uh, I'm not going to invest because I'm worried what's, what's gonna happen. I mean, historically in these times, interest rates are crazy low. I mean, talk to some of the older folks that have experienced the crazy uh, high interest rates in the 80s or, or, or the 70s, and then they'll tell you that money is basically free right now to, to borrow. And, and then that's, excellent absolutely excellent for investors and also interest rates are really one one key factor of of an investment right in order for investment to grow there is appreciation there's mortgage pay down um, uh, as well as uh, how much are the rents cost of utilities so there's so much more and the biggest one being forced appreciation and what we mean by that is improving the building so we can generate rent rate, uh, higher rents so what i thought i would run through with you what is the impact to a typical investor on one of our last deals what would be the impact if the interest rates went went up so let's do that right now Okay, so we're in the presentation. And this is basically what it looks like. Over the period of three years, uh, at, the, at the very top, you can see a typical investor on our, um, on our multifamily uh, apartment building would have earned $134,133. So 134 k over, uh, over three years, if, um, if the interest rates stayed as they are. And then over five years, about 190,400. Yes, that's a spectacular uh, return, but not unusual for our, our, our model. Uh, but then what would happen if the interest rate went up by quarter? Because banks lift them by quarter. You, the investor impact would be roughly $1,100 on three years. And then on five years, the impact would be about 2,000, sorry, 2,000. And then even if the interest rates jumped even higher on a three-year or for a half percent, which, which occurs sometimes, the investment would go down slightly to $131,800, right? So, so what is that? That's, that's less than $3,000. And on a five years, that's... Um, that's around $3,000 and something as well. So I guess what I'm saying to you, yes, it looks like on paper, it's not good because interest rates um, are increasing or they will be increasing uh, at some point. By the way, um, check out the article um, I mentioned at the bottom of the email about what's actually happening right now with the interest rates. But what I'm saying is to you, look at it the, up from the other perspective. What happens if you say, you know what, interest rates are going up, I'm not investing. Then on, in three years, you would be missing out on $131,000 or in five years on $186,000. So, so the loss of actually, so the problem with sitting and waiting and not investing because interest rates are going up is a lot bigger than in, if interest rates climb up a little bit. Okay, so that's my um, that's my advice to you. Basically, don't worry about the interest rates too much. Um, I think the key is to take action soon and invest now, and then that way you will make that return. And whether it's a couple thousand dollars less or more, will it really matter in the long term? Okay, thanks. And if you haven't done so already, sign up for Mike's Investor Circle. Uh, link at the bottom of the email. Take care.